Today we're reading the story, What Makes Day and Night? We're going to be thinking about how the light changes between day and night and what you think causes that. What makes day and night? We all live on the earth. The earth is our planet. It is round like a big ball and it is spinning. It is hard to believe the earth is always turning because we don't feel any motion. This is because the earth spins smoothly, always at the same speed. This is a photograph of the Earth. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spacecraft. You can see that the Earth is round. If you were way out in space and watching the Earth, you would see it spin. The Earth spins around once in 24 hours. Light from the sun falls on one half of the spinning Earth. The other half is in the light has day. The other half is in the dark. It is the Earth's shadow. That half has night. As the Earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. We have day and night. Imagine you are in a spaceship high above the North Pole. Imagine you can stay there 24 hours and watch the Earth make one complete turn. As the earth turns, we have sunrise, daylight, sunset, and night. People at A, here's the point A, there's the people way up there on the top. I'll get close so you can see them. So the people at A have sunrise. Later, because the earth is turning, they're at B. It is the middle of the day for noontime. Then as the earth continues to turn, there's the people down here, they're at C. It carries them to sea and they have sunset. And then they keep going around and now they're at D. It is the middle of the night for them. Um, it is midnight. At the end of 24 hours, they, have, they will see sunrise again. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness by doing an experiment. You will be the earth and a lamp will be the sun. So you can practice this at home by shining a light just like the boy is doing here and practice spinning and seeing when you can see the light or when you can't see the light. So go ahead, stand up, and if you have a light that can shine on you, you can practice this. Stand so that your left side is toward the lamp. Hold your arms out all the way. Your left hand points towards the sun. This is sunrise. Now stay in the same spot, keep your arms out in front of your sides and turn to your left. Now the lamp is in front of you. It is the middle of the day. It is noon time. So see how his face is completely in the sun. Keep turning until your right hand points towards the lamp. You are turning away from the light, so it's sunset. And here at the end, try this, keep turning until your back is toward the lamp. Now your face, can you see the light? Nope, it is night but your back is in the daylight. Half of you is always in the light and half is in the dark. It's the same way in the earth. So even though he can't see the light, so think about it, if you can't see the light, that's nighttime for you, but the back side of you can see the light. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes, and it goes very fast, about 100 miles an hour. As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. You can see this happen. If you are awake very early, you can see sunrise. The earth is moving you toward the sun. The earth keeps turning. Later in the day, we begin to turn away from the sun. You can see sunset. About 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning around. As the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night, but the moon spins very slowly. 
So the days and nights are long. Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and two weeks of darkness. During one night on the moon, the Earth spins around 14 times. The turning Earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. That seems just about right for all of us on the planet. So we're going to be practicing this week, doing some more experiments with day and night. 